Welcome back. In this video we will talk about psychedelic. The following chapters specifically cover the topics psychedelics in history, psychedelics and the brain, psychedelics and religion, psychedelics and spirituality, psychedelics and health, psychedelics and society, psychedelics and the future and conclusion. Now, let us begin. Enjoy. Chapter 1. Psychedelics in History. Psychedelics have been used throughout history by many different cultures for a variety of purposes. The earliest known use of psychedelics was by the ancient Egyptians, who used them in religious ceremonies. The ancient Greeks also used psychedelics in their religious practices. In the Middle Ages, psychedelics were used by the alchemists in their quest to create the philosopher's stone. Psychedelics were also used by Native Americans in ceremonies and rituals. The most well-known of these is the peyote ceremony, which is still practiced today. Psychedelics were also used by the Chinese in traditional medicine. In the 20th century, psychedelics were introduced to the West by the psychiatrist, Dr. Albert Hoffman. Hoffman was the first to synthesize LSD, which he discovered accidentally while working on a new migraine medication. Hoffman's discovery sparked a wave of research into psychedelics and their potential therapeutic benefits. Psychedelics were used extensively in the 1960s by researchers exploring their potential as psychotherapy. Unfortunately, this research was largely shut down in the 1970s due to the political climate of the time. In the past few years, there has been a resurgence of interest in psychedelics and their therapeutic potential. Psychedelics have a long and varied history of use. They have been used by many different cultures for a variety of purposes. In the past few years, there has been a resurgence of interest in psychedelics and their therapeutic potential. Chapter 2. Psychedelics and the Brain Psychedelics and the brain have a long and complicated history. Psychedelics are a class of drugs that have been used for centuries, and their effects on the brain are still not fully understood. Psychedelics are thought to work by altering the levels of serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in mood, perception, and cognition. Psychedelics are known to produce changes in consciousness, including alterations in perception, mood, and thought. These changes can be both positive and negative. Psychedelics can also cause changes in brain activity. These changes are usually temporary, but in some cases, they can be long lasting. Psychedelics are thought to have therapeutic potential for a variety of mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, and addiction. However, there is still much to learn about the risks and benefits of using psychedelics. Chapter 3. Psychedelics and Religion Psychedelics and religion have had a long and complicated history. For many years, psychedelics were seen as taboo and were strictly regulated by the government. However, in recent years, there has been a resurgence of interest in psychedelics and their potential therapeutic benefits. Psychedelics have been used for centuries by various cultures for religious and spiritual purposes. In the West, psychedelics were first introduced in the 1950s by Aldous Huxley and Timothy Leary. They quickly gained popularity among the counterculture movement of the 1960s. Psychedelics became associated with the hippie movement and were seen as a way to rebel against the establishment. This led to a negative perception of psychedelics and many people began to see them as dangerous drugs. In the 1970s, the use of psychedelics declined due to increased regulation. However, in the past few years, there has been a renewed interest in psychedelics. Researchers are now investigating the potential therapeutic benefits of psychedelics for a variety of mental health conditions. Psychedelics have the potential to create powerful and profound experiences. When used responsibly and with the guidance of a trained professional, they can be safe and beneficial. Psychedelics can offer a new way of looking at the world and can help us to better understand our place in the universe. Chapter 4. Psychedelics and Spirituality Psychedelics and spirituality have been connected throughout history. Shamanic cultures have used psychedelics for healing and divination for thousands of years. In the modern era, psychedelics have been used by many people in search of a deeper connection to the divine. 
Psychedelics can create powerful altered states of consciousness that can facilitate mystical experiences. These experiences can be deeply transformative and often lead to a newfound sense of connection to the divine. Many people who have taken psychedelics report feeling a deep sense of oneness with the universe and a profound sense of love and compassion for all beings. Psychedelics can also help us to let go of our egoic attachments and see the world from a more spiritual perspective. They can help us to connect with our higher selves and access previously hidden levels of consciousness. While psychedelics can be powerful tools for spiritual growth, it is important to remember that they are not a panacea. They are not a magic bullet that will automatically fix all of your problems. It is important to approach them with respect and intention. When used wisely, they can be an invaluable tool on the spiritual path. Chapter 5. Psychedelics and Health Psychedelics have been shown to be effective in treating a wide variety of mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, PTSD, and addiction. In addition, psychedelics have also been shown to be helpful in treating physical health conditions such as chronic pain and migraines. Psychedelics work by increasing levels of serotonin in the brain, which helps to improve mood and reduce anxiety. In addition, psychedelics can also help to increase levels of dopamine which can help to reduce cravings and improve motivation. Psychedelics are generally considered to be safe, with a low risk of addiction and no risk of overdose. However, it is important to be aware of the potential risks of psychedelics before taking them, and to make sure that you are in a safe and comfortable environment when taking them. Chapter 6. Psychedelics and Society Psychedelics have been used by humans for centuries but only recently have they been studied for their therapeutic potential. Psychedelics are a class of drugs that produce profound changes in consciousness, including hallucinations, altered states of awareness, and feelings of euphoria. Psychedelics are thought to work by disrupting the normal functioning of the brain serotonin system. Psychedelics have been shown to be effective in treating a variety of mental health conditions, including anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Psychedelics are also being studied as a potential treatment for addiction. While the therapeutic potential of psychedelics is promising, there are also risks associated with their use. Psychedelics can cause intense and unpredictable changes in mood and behavior, and they can be dangerous when used in combination with other drugs or alcohol. Psychedelics are currently illegal in the United States, but that may change in the future as more research is conducted on their safety and efficacy. If psychedelics are eventually legalized, it is important to consider how they will be regulated. Psychedelics should only be used under the supervision of a trained medical professional, and users should be made aware of the potential risks involved. Chapter 7. Psychedelics and the Future Psychedelics have been used for centuries by various cultures for healing, religious, and spiritual purposes. In the last few decades, there has been a resurgence of interest in psychedelics, particularly in the West, as a potential tool for psychological and spiritual growth. Psychedelics are non-addictive and have a low risk of abuse. They are also known to be one of the most effective treatments for mental health conditions like depression, anxiety, and PTSD. Despite the promising potential of psychedelics, there are still many unknowns about their long-term effects. More research is needed to understand the potential risks and benefits of psychedelics. The legal status of psychedelics also presents a challenge to their wider use. In the United States, most psychedelics are classified as Schedule I drugs, which means they have a high potential for abuse and no accepted medical use. This classification makes it difficult to conduct research on psychedelics and limits access to these substances for therapeutic purposes. Despite these challenges, Psychedelics are being increasingly studied for their potential to help people heal from mental health conditions, trauma, and addiction. With more research, we may be able to unlock the full potential of these powerful substances. Conclusion on Psychedelic Psychedelics have a long and complicated history. They have been used by many different cultures for a variety of purposes. In the past few years, there has been a resurgence of interest in psychedelics and their therapeutic potential. Psychedelics are thought to work by altering the levels of serotonin in the brain. Serotonin is a neurotransmitter that plays a role in mood, 
perception, and cognition. Psychedelics are known to produce changes in consciousness, including alterations in perception, mood, and thought. These changes can be both positive and negative. Psychedelics can also cause changes in brain activity. These changes are usually temporary, but in some cases, they can be long-lasting. Psychedelics are thought to have therapeutic potential for a variety of mental health conditions, including depression, anxiety, and addiction. However, there is still much to learn about the risks and benefits of using psychedelics. Psychedelics have the potential to create powerful and profound experiences. That's the end of this video about psychedelic. I hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care. Till next time.